In October of this year, Microsoft had their Surface event, and one of the pieces of software announced was the Windows Core OS that left a lot of people with questions about what is it, and is it going to take the place of Windows 10? We'll have answers for you in just a second. Core is a stripped-down version of Windows. It's very modular and adaptable in its design. It isn't a consumer end product, though. What it is is a foundation that you can expect to power the next generation of devices put out by Microsoft. If you followed any of the news concerning products developed by Microsoft, you've seen some of the devices it's already been adapted for. Those two would be HoloLens 2, which is an augmented reality headset or a mixed reality headset, and the Surface Hub 2X, which is an interactive whiteboard that is set to release in 2020. The concept for a core framework has been around since the modern operating system. It actually makes a framework that modules can be built around and onto so they can adapt to different functions. Now those functions can be as wildly different as the aforementioned HoloLens 2 to a Surface tablet. There's three different versions of the Windows Core OS. The first one is called Aruba. This is what the Surface Hub 2X is running. It is tailored to the collaborative display, enabling it to rotate the display, combine it with other displays, and it has a multi-user interface. All users can share files and documents and changes to those documents across real time. The second is called Oasis. It's designed specifically for the HoloLens 2, and it enables gesture controls to grab, scale, or move objects, finger position tracking, head and eye tracking, all the things that are crucial for a high-end artificial reality headset. The third version of the Core OS is going to be called Santorini. You've probably also heard it referred to as Windows 10X and Windows Lite. Now, it's got a heavy focus on battery optimization, and it's going to be a very stripped-down version of Windows to support mobile computing and productivity-focused computers. One of the neat things that Windows 10X is being shown on is the new Surface Neo, which is a dual-screen laptop. Now, you're probably wondering, with all of these advancements, where's Windows 10 going to be in all this? Well, it's going to be referred to as Windows Classic, and it is still going to be there, and it is going to be updated and still maintained in tandem with Windows Core OS, so they're not getting rid of that anytime soon. But Windows 10, or Windows Classic as it's now known, will be targeted towards higher-end PCs, so power users, gamers, and businesses and manufacturers. So it is still around, it's still there, it's not going anywhere. Core OS is just there to fill in some of the blanks that Windows 10 has left. I do hope this clears some questions up for you. If you do have any further questions that we can help you with, please email us at marketing at sages.com. And if you do have any suggestions for blogs or questions that we can answer for you in the future, email us there as well. We do one of these every Thursday, so join us again next time. Until then, we'll see you later.